<laughs> more of an elf with Christmas music. I start listening the day after Thanksgiving. Because I write Christmas productions, I'm sometimes listening to Christmas music in May, so I'm definitely an elf on this one. Um, I have not been listening to it at all. Um, so I guess, does that answer it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> well, I live with a who. So, I, it grows on me. It grows on me, except for Kelly Clarkson underneath the tree. That one is going to push me over the edge. As a kid, Christmas music was always on right after Thanksgiving because um, my mom would drive me to school. So that was every single morning. And then once I was able to drive myself, uh, there was no more Christmas music. I like the icicles, the ones that drip like this, you know? Yeah, those are my favorites. I like Christmas lights when somebody else is paying the electrical bill. So I'm probably a Grinch there because there's no way I'm ever going to put up exterior lights on my own house. Oh, they're beautiful. I love it when people do up their neighborhoods. It's the putting them up and taking them down piece. Like if I could have like a genie, a magical Christmas genie that came and just like, bing, did it for me, I'd be in. It's the other, the up, down. Mm -mm. Um, I am all for Christmas lights. Uh, I decorate the house, I decorate my mom's house. I like going around looking at them um, to, a, to a degree. I'm not the, like every inch of my house needs to be lit up and out having inflatables and all that type of stuff. But you don't have the choreographed light show going on? No, I don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, uh, I've never put up Christmas lights, so I don't know what it would do to my electrical bill. Um, I think they look nice. Um, we go out to the tree farm in Everson and we search for way too long for the right tree that has all the right bushes and all the right branches and we saw it down. Artificial all the way, real trees are stupid and you never know what to do with them after the holiday. And it's like, how do you get it in here? Then you got sap all over yourself and you gotta get a truck or borrow a truck or scratch the roof of your car. Real trees are so messy. Okay, see this is the thing, I, this is gonna sound really weird, but I think it's kind of weird that as a custom, we cut down a living thing and then dress its corpse up in our living rooms and slowly watch them die. So I prefer an artificial tree because I like the ambiance of Christmas. I just don't want to like kill stuff for it. I've never gone Christmas tree shopping. I don't think. Um, yeah, I don't think I've ever gone Christmas tree shopping. I am a fake Christmas tree person. It's easier, um, you can reuse it. Um, you don't have to kill a tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all about the eggnog. Uh, I don't like chocolate, so I'm not having peppermint mochas or whatever they're called. Um, and eggnog's not super sweet. I also don't like sweet drinks, so. I love eggnog. The more nutmeg, the better. Bring it on. I'm somewhere in the middle. There's no hot chocolate. Um, there might be some coffee with some rumple mints in it or peppermint schnapps. Yes, yes, yes to the holiday drinks. Costco actually kind of ruined eggnog for me. They had this wine that was eggnog that looked super good. I saw it on Facebook, somebody posted it, and so I went straight to Costco and got two bottles of it for one for me and one my roommate. And I mean, it was good until the end. And I, it's just like, I haven't had eggnog since. But yeah, I like eggnog. It's not bad. I think we can all agree that they're horrible. However, they're an essential part of the holiday and you must watch them. Hallmark movies are a soulless waste of time, but I have to watch at least two every year. I'm not a fan of Hallmark. But I like rom-coms, I'll watch the classic, you know, Four Christmases with Vince Vaughn, I'll watch Elf, I'll watch those type of movies, but uh, Hallmark movies are, yeah, they will make me feel like I am losing brain cells and my soul. I would totally block the Hallmark channel on a cable subscription if I could, so I'm definitely against Hallmark movies. Another thing that my mom is obsessed with that I'll only watch when I am back home, because that's pretty much what's on in December is Hallmark movies. So I've seen them. I'm not like anti-Hallmark movies, but I would never turn one on myself.
Um, I usually don't do gifts for anybody because I don't like it. <laughs> so I don't shop or do anything. Sometimes the wrapping is even better than the actual gift. <laughs> I, pr I do a lot of hand making gifts. I like gifts to be hopefully thoughtful. Christmas shopping is a pain and I would hope that nobody is going way out of their way to buy me a gift either. My mom. It depends on who it's for. Um, because if I like think of a really good gift, I get really excited and I'll buy it for somebody, but that doesn't happen very often. Um, so yeah, I love giving gifts, but I feel bad if I don't like it. <laughs> That's why I'm not, I'm not the type of person that will like get angry if you don't like it, because I'm the same way. Like if you return it, get something you like. It's fine with me. Well, clearly, I love them. Hold on, I got a pet kitty. It's not my first choice of things to wear at any time of the year, but my wife, she she grows on me during this time of the year, and uh, I end up wearing a Santa hat and uh, ugly sweaters and all of the above. I look for any reason to dress up in the most ridiculous attire ever, and in fact, if I wasn't showing homes after this, I would be in my wool slash polyester blend 70s Christmas matching it's not a onesie it's a two-piece but uh, I, I was I was actually pretty excited for that and then I was like oh, I don't know. it's probably not practical for that oh no I'd totally wear a Christmas sweater I love that I love dressing for the holiday it's fun I'm not super like motivated to go do it but if like it comes up then yeah I'll totally hop in Two main things usually, uh, something family oriented, right? Usually a big Christmas party. And then I love going to see the Seattle Men's Chorus, actually. They have an awesome show they put on every year. I have literally written and produced through Christmas productions. So I have about four different things I want to go to every single year. Yeah, I'd say I fall somewhere in the middle. I don't need something on my calendar every night. In fact, I would prefer that most nights there are not Christmas gatherings and all the above. But I do love being around people and gathering, and so um, I don't mind like a ugly sweater party or the Linden uh, parade. Um, those are those are fun. I enjoy hanging out with my nieces and nephews and whatnot. But I don't need to do that every day. I need a break. Based on my handwriting, which do you think I would be? I would much rather wrap gifts than shop for gifts any day of the week. Picking out gifts is stressful, but wrapping gifts is an art form and. If I can get the patterns to match on the back of the box when I fold it over and tape it, that is a win. So I buy wrapping paper specifically with that in mind. Well, actually the gift wrapper. Uh, I do like doing that and having the string or tinsel or whatever it's called stuff. So at the beginning of the season, I always start out really ambitious and trying to like make all the gifts really nicely wrapped, but then usually by Christmas Eve and maybe a couple holiday cocktails deep in it, the next morning I look at my wrap jobs and I'm like, oh, that could have been better. That I could have executed that a little better. I wrap quite well, so it usually involves wrapping paper, ribbon, a bow, some kind of fun tag, and then maybe an ornament oftentimes hanging off the side. It gets a little, a little crazy. Lights, decorations, Christmas, music, movies, all of the things! I only get into this holiday every year. I'm not really a holiday person, but Christmas is my jam, so I'm all about it. Christmas is about being with the people you love the most, and if gifts happen, great. If I don't get a gift, I am just as happy. Um, the first one. Being with uh, people you love the most, I could deal without some of the other stuff. Honestly, I think Christmas as I've gotten older, it's kind of awkward. Just the fact of like giving gifts and like, I don't know, it's like, it's great to give gifts and everything, but I, I wish it was more focused on just like being with your family. Cause I mean, once I moved out of the, my parents' house, I mean, I don't see them as much anymore. So the holidays is the time I really get to see them. So, I mean, that's mostly what it's all about is seeing my family. Oh, just plain streamlined, I'm a pretty basic person, just being with those that you love the most. And I think that for me, especially this year, being so far away from the rest of 
my family and not having been able to see them, like it's really, um, I think it's made this holiday season even tougher for me. So for all of those people out there who are struggling and feeling like they're missing something, you are, and I'm sorry, but know that you're not alone, even though you may feel that way. Anyways. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. It was the corpse, wasn't it? It was that reference to, I'm an elf. Yeah. Oh, that's a surprise. Pretty much even Steven down the middle between a Grinch and an elf. So is that like a Grelf or? I'm an elf. So I'm an elf? I'm an elf. Christmas probably began in October for you, if not earlier. You're pretty hands off when it comes to the holidays. You get starry-eyed putting up your trees and thinking about someone opening their perfect gift. You couldn't be caught dead in Christmas jammies, but you're probably dropping off donations on the sly, or at least putting up with the Christmas music your elf friends are blasting. Hot chocolate runs through my veins. You do care about people, but you don't think that it has to include all of the sparkles, shopping and gift wrap. Sometimes erupting in impromptu dance parties. Who cares if they happen in Target? Mariah Carey is a queen. And definitely not standing on a ladder in the cold, stapling your finger while trying to put up Christmas lights. Whether you're an elf or a Grinch, we sincerely wish you and yours a happy holiday season. Happy Hanukkah. We hope you had a joyful festival of lights. Wishing you warmth, happiness, and peace this Kwanzaa. And a Merry Christmas as well. And to all, we hope that the new year will be prosperous and happy. 